Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. I've got the video today that you've all been waiting for, and it's actually on how to make the Krita AI Diffusion read models in a different directory. So I'm going to show you how that you can actually point the Krita AI Diffusion to a model directory. So if you've got Easy Diffusion or perhaps Automatic 11 on your system, and you have a central drive where you have all your models, I'm gonna show you how you can actually set up the Krita AI Diffusion to look at that model directory so you don't have to have multiple locations to run your actual models. You're going to wanna to like and get the bell on for notifications, of course, uh, and it'd be grateful to me as well. The like certainly will help us out and subscribe if you haven't, and check out the other videos, of course. So we'll get over to the intro, and then we'll take a look at uh, the Krita and how to actually set this up. Okay, so we want to come over to your um, your roaming, so your users, your computer, your app data, your roaming, your Krita, and this is where we uh, put in the plugin originally. So where the PY Krita is, if we come into there, that's where we dropped the AI Diffusion. Now if we come into AI Diffusion and we come into Server, this is where our Comfy UI is, which is the core AI that um, the AI Diffusion plugin uses. We're going to come into there and we're going to come down to this file right here. Extra model paths YAML example. We're going to back this up. So we're just going to copy that and we're going to paste and that's going to create a copy of it. And then we're going to rename this one here from example to YAML. Yes, we're absolutely positive. Now, what we want to do is we want to open this up and we want to open it. We're going to go more apps and we're going to come down until we find our notepad. We're going to click notepad and open that up. Once we have that open, it's going to look like this. Now, we're going to modify a couple of things here, which is going to point the Comfy UI core that is running in Krita to read extra models on your system. So the base ones are down here, which we're not going to touch. So if you've got them in two locations, you're going to end up with uh, some double ups. You may want to remove some from the... Um, from the Krita directory for where they are. So I'm gonna come across here. I'm gonna go into my easy diffusion, and then I'm gonna come into models. Now, the first thing we wanna do is I'm gonna copy this. This is my directory path, which you can't see because it's blacked out, but don't worry about that. We're gonna get it. This is the base path here. So we're gonna change that base path and we're gonna paste that in to here, we're gonna have that as eDrive Programs Easy Diffusion. Now the checkpoints, which is our models, is what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna come down. For Easy Diffusion, it is here. We're gonna come out of there. And we're gonna come down, we're gonna find that the checkpoint. So it's Models Stable Diffusion. We're going to point that to here. Now we're going to add our LORAs as well, which is right here. So we're going to come across. You can add more if you want. I'm just going to add these ones for now to show you how it's done. So we come through here. I like that. Paste that. Just like that. So we're adding our main directory. We're telling it where our checkpoints are and we're telling it where our LORAs are. Uh, if you want to add more, you can. Uh, hopefully the plugin will support embeddings in the future and hopefully the hyper networks in the future. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't. We're going to leave ControlNet because all the ControlNets 
are being used by the plugin are already what is needed and we don't really want to mess too much with that because we don't want to break it we're going to save that now that it's saved when we run it it should detect our new directories so we're going to run uh, creator and then we're going to take a look at it okay so i have creator open here and we're just waiting for it to uh, connect so it has now connected here as we can see if we come down to our styles and we click on here we'll suddenly see all our models installed and we can of course go through all those and see all them and now we can select any model we want on top of that we've also got our LoRa's so if we come down here and we would click here we have all our LoRa's now I did find a, uh, a problem with um, the other monitor uh, which is a lot higher resolution it doesn't fan out like this and it sometimes it doesn't scroll so when you're arrowing through it's disappearing off the screen and I can't actually see what it's actually selecting so um, hopefully that will be fixed in one of the um, plugin updates I've reached out to the uh, the maker of it the legend that they are and hopefully that is addressed so it's not an issue with this one this one works like this which is absolutely fantastic but the LoRa one I'd like to see work the same the LoRa one is doing something different and it's not supporting all monitor resolutions which is a, uh, a little bit of a pain so just keep that in mind when you're uh, installing it uh, you may hit that same issue so that is it so that's a nice quick one for you so it's easy as modifying that directory and once it's modified uh, all your models will be in a central network uh, or location I should say so you can continue to add your models to in my case the easy diffusion directory and you don't have to have them in the two locations where my c drive doesn't have a lot of space and my easy diffusion is on a separate hard drive uh, keep in mind that they do run a lot faster if they're on a ssd than on a mechanical drive in my case these ones here are on a mechanical drive so they do take longer to load up so if you're pointing to a separate directory which is a mechanical drive just note that it does slow down rendering times and load times so there it is uh, that's the one you guys i believe have been waiting for uh, i hear a lot of you out there are uh, like me uh, using multiple ai programs to achieve what you need to achieve and having a central database of your um, your models is a lot better than having duplicates all over the place um, certainly saves on hard drive space so don't forget to like subscribe get the bell on for notifications share this video because i know it will definitely help other people out um, certainly helps me out and i will see you in the next stream tabulous video Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it would really help me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.